All right, here is where we get to uh, give the real answer to what my favorite mythological mythological creature would be because it answers this question fawns versus centaurs i'll take centaurs L let's be frank here centaurs are really really cool um like uh, yeah in harry potter i guess they were pretty cool in that too but especially narnian centaurs just their design the armor the weapons um especially in the lion of the witch and the wardrobe that they're given centaurs are hands down one of my favorite parts of the movie um and the fact that they um are really such a good guy race as it were i hate to say that because obviously no species is entirely good or bad like the minotaurs prove that well enough but i don't think we ever saw a single centaur fighting on the Side of evil and in fact a majority of the winter rebellion seemed to be made up of these guys um, I assume that's why it was a predominantly Calvary faction um, because they had so many centaurs so many satires and so many um, talking beasts that um, they were predominantly a Calvary faction and yeah honestly there is a bit of personal bias here because again I love that charge scene so much and because one of my favorite characters one general Aureus aka to the death um is a centaur but uh, the centaurs in prince caspian also actually add a lot to why i like these guys um both their leader in that series glimstorm who is actually in the books unlike uh, general warius and yeah i'm pretty sure his name isn't actually glimstorm i think i'm getting him mixed up with a completely different character uh but oh well um his role in the books and in the movie um like that one centaur at the night raid who's uh who uh, sadly um didn't survive but like understood that the gate was closed that the Evernarnians couldn't rescue him so he just turns around and leads the le rest and last of his men sorry i got those two words confused in my mouth pipe um and a last uh, to the death charge like centaurs seem to really have a big thing about charging into battles they know they can't win i think reaper cheap probably gets along very well with them in that regard um, and just the emotional scene of Peter having to come back and confront what was presumably that centaur's wife. Um, just the centaurs as kind of the shock troopers of the good guys, kind of like the minotaurs are the shock troopers of the bad guys in Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe at least, how they are one of the most common uh, race, I guess you could say, in the bad guys' armies, while the centaurs obviously make up a majority of the good guys, as previously mentioned, um, and how they're both obviously very efficient and just really incredibly dangerous fighters. Like, the centaurs easily uh, slicing through the bad ranks of the bad guys, and the minotaurs getting their own fair share of kills. Although, I really think the duel, as short as it was, between Aureus and Oatman really drives home that ultimately centaurs are, um, like the better fighters like I, I individually i think ultimately i guess you would have to give that title to lions first um humans second and the half giant half witch third thank you jadis for continuing to ruin my and take over my videos um uh, but I think if you're going to stereotype races, I would have to put centaurs as one of the most devastatingly dangerous fighting forces in the world of Narnia, which is impressive considering there are giants in this world, but still the centaurs somehow come across as more impressive. Um, I kind of imagined them of like, as like a good guy oriented centaur, uh, I mean Klingon faction. Um, although that uh, award probably goes to the mice, thanks to the influence of one Reaper Cheap. Um, <laughs> and I actually, uh, speaking of the differences between the centaurs in Prince Caspian and the centaurs in the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, I think it's actually really noticeable the differences in the designs of the centaur fighters. How the ones in the Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobes have the big fancy swords, the plate armor, um, like the proper war weapon fighting equipment whereas the ones in prince caspian usually fight shirtless and like very simple basic lever armor at the most um and i think it really shows the difference between the golden age and the winter rebellion and the remnants of old narnia and prince caspian i just think visually that shows a big difference that even though the winter rebellion and uh those centaurs uh, were also kind of a remnant of the original, original First Kingdom of Narnia uh, fighting on who were still loyal to Aslan. Um, I think it really drives home how big a threat Miraz and the Colormans were 
um, in Prince Caspian to show that these centaurs who rallied so quickly and were able to fashion these proper weapons and armor to fight against the White Witch are basically showing up shirtless and with spears to fight Miras. Like, I think it really drives home how devastating the Collarman takeover of Narnia is. Um, and yeah, just in general, uh, fawns are really cool too. I meant to kind of talk about fawns a lot in this video too, but yeah, centaurs, centaurs are the bot. Centaurs are the best.